sometimes they can be uh, just something extra. It's kind of like, yeah, that almost a burlesque halftime show as opposed to, like you're saying, these ladies, true competitors. Not an anarchy championship wrestling style whatsoever. We want the best in the world here. And uh, we have amassed quite the roster of female competitors. They don't deserve to be called girls or ladies or any trash like that. We celebrate the spirit of the American, Joshi. You see one of the uh, the shining examples right. here, Athena. Athena in the ring yesterday, also competed yesterday at Fun 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 Fest. Uh, now, this, uh, this may be a bit of a surprise to you. We're going to see. Oh, right here, this is, is Rachel Summerlin. Rachel Summerlin. Yep. Now, Rachel Summerlin. And Jessica James, as we saw yesterday, right. comprise Rachel and Jessica's excellent tag team hailing from the International House of Pancakes. Ah. Now, so this is really her chance to redeem her teammate right now. Yesterday's match were Athena. And, well, uh, well, things are about to get a little strange. I, a I, little strange? I like strange. <laughs> if there's one thing I know it's strange, it makes me feel at home. I'm ready for strange. This right here is Lady Poison. Yeah. Who so maybe now Lady Poison looks familiar. Looks a little familiar. Yes. Lady Poison, the alter ego of Jessica James, the more evil, sadistic alter ego of well, Jessica James. We saw Jessica get a little evil and sadistic at the yes. end of the match yesterday, and I guess that would be Poison coming yes, out. Poison was was that definitely was. pulled out of Jessica James in her match with Athena yesterday. So now Rachel Summerlin in the very strange position of wrestling, uh, at least the body of her teammate. Exactly, if not the mind. So, I mean, that puts a whole other shade on this match. Will she be able to reach through that poison persona and reach to her teammate to perhaps get something going, a little teamwork or a little mercy as the case may be? Now, the, lost in all of this is that this match is for a spot at our marquee event, Guilty by Association, against the women's champion, Portia Press from Canada. Okay. For the American Joshi title. So, a lot on the line in this matchup. All three of these women, former American Joshi champions. Now, already we are seeing, I'll tell you one difference right now, ladies. We are seeing a much better display of sportsmanship and competition than we saw in that first match from the men, right off the bat. There we go, a three way test of strength. From what I have seen, I would give the advantage here to Rachel Summerlin. Athena, surprisingly strong for her size as well, though. Yeah, so I would say, if I was just going to take away, I would say Rachel appears to have a little bit of an advantage, but she's getting, now, Athena and Poison working against her. Oh, going under. Oh. They have, and they have switched it over. Oh, rolls through does Rachel Roll Summerlin. Oh! Oh! The Did beautiful miss! Line. Rachel Summerlin, a house of fire here tonight. She wants a shot at Portia Perez's American Joshi title. She definitely knows what's at stake and she's going for it. That was a beautiful display of mixing technical ability with brawling right there. Power slam right into the uh, fall. As you see again, Lady Poison is not rushing in to break up that fall. All multi-person matches in ACW stands one annual event at the Lone Star Classic is elimination. You're right. not going to lose a match sitting on the sidelines watching somebody else. You got to get in there and beat everybody. Trading vicious leg kicks around a circle. This, this is like a bad version of passing the pipe, except they're passing oh. leg kicks. <laughs> and it just got past to Athena right there. there. And see, that's bad form. Rachel there skipping someone in the circle herself <laughs> to make sure Athena ate that kick. <laughs> that's just her takeover. You see that athleticism. Only a one count. Poison gets on Rachel there. Yeah, I don't think the uh, the teammate Alter Ego is coming into play at all. She doesn't seem to recognize anything but her desire to destroy oh, her opponents. And not at all. Lady Poison and Rachel Summerlin, before it was revol re 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 revealed, revealed. <laughs> it's easy for me to say. I think I've been having a little too much fun here. Fun, fun, fun. That she was, in fact, Jessica James. They uh, they viciously went at it. Oh. 
poison is down in the front row. The crowd seems very concerned over. We can't see her from our vantage point. But by the looks oh, wow. on the audience faces, she has to be hurt. Oh, Meanwhile, cross body. Athena in the ring taking it to Rachel. Suited crossbody only got two. Oh, we can finally see Poison again rising to her feet outside the ring. Lady Poison back in the ring. She's just stalking, watching as Athena works oh, over Rachel. Oh, but Rachel seems to turn turning around. Rachel oh, Poison comes in. Back in the head. That dropped her straight down. That was a vicious shot. Now she's outside the ring where Poison was before. Again, the looks of concerns on the crowd's faces cannot be overstated here. These ladies are going after each other. Switch her off. Crucifix. Rachel caught it Into the spin. Spins her around, airplane spin. Oh, has her up top now. It's getting in her position. Oh, oh wow. A big drop. Big Samoan drop. Folds her up. Around at two. Athena still trying to regain her senses outside the ring. Oh, oh. gets Rachel by the ankles and pulls her out. Now they go out and outside the ring while Poison recovers on the inside. Again, strategy has to be a big part of these elimination matches. Oh, shoot you back in. <laughs> Lady Poison going up. Complete disregard for the crowd safety there too. Almost uh, an audience member taken out. Poison perched on the top rope just watching Athena and Rachel go at it. Wondering if she's, she, yeah, she's definitely, she's setting up, she's preparing for something here. Up top, they have no clue. These two going up. Oh, and she goes from the top rope. Uh, Poison throws back Athena in the back in. And Rachel, Rachel gets pulled in. Athena roll all the way, almost out the other side of the ring. Goes the cover. She's like a mad zombie. <laughs> Just hell bent on destruction. Oh! Whew. What do we even call that maneuver, eh? Variation of a lung blower. But still not enough to put poison away. All these ladies have taken tremendous abuse in this match so far, but are still fighting furiously. And Athena <laughs> eliminated. Jessica James and Rachel Summerlin use that as a finishing maneuver. Might oh, be a little bit of poison, poison, a little bit poison, of poison kiss here. Poison. Holding off. Now they're staring each other down. I can't, I gotta wonder now, maybe Poison has recognized Rachel. her teammate. <laughs> Went to give Athena the poison kiss. She's got it on Rachel. Oh. And the crowd reacts. She's a poisony green mist. That's a three count it's academic from there. On top of Athena gets a double three count basically on both of them. Referee smartly getting away from Poison at the end of that match. And Lady Poison's heading on to face Portia Perez at Guilty by Association. That Poison kiss may be a little bit questionable, but she definitely earned it. That was a hard fought match. think she's done. She keeps surveying her opponents there. Go ahead and into the crowd. Again, the referee smartly staying clear of poison. It's time to clean up the mess, if you will. More stretchers. 